get myself into this side. I'm gonna wait for him. I'm gonna indicate right now since we're more I'm straight. He's giving me way. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome to FM Driving School. You're with me, your fully qualified driving instructor, FM. Before we start, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click the button for all the latest videos. Today, we're going to do a driving mock test, a real mock test. By myself, your fully qualified driving instructor, I'm going to show you how you should be driving, um, how the exam will be set up, how the examiner will be marking you, and what exactly you should be doing in your driving test. If you've got a test coming up, or you just want to see what it's like to do a driving test, watch this video, watch it to the end, and you'll get loads of tips, loads of help, loads of advices. So do watch it, and let me know if I've passed or failed. Comment below at the end of the video, let me know if I've passed or failed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. When I get myself into this side, I'm gonna wait for him. I'm gonna indicate right now since we're more um, straight. He's giving me way. Okay, let's go. Thank you. And carry on. Okay. Up to gear two. Check out mirrors. Okay. I'm gonna go left here. Check out mirrors. Interior left. Indicate left. So, yeah, normally I wouldn't indicate when I was going straight on that staggered junction, but as I got towards the road, now it's a bit more straight, so just to make other road users know where I'm going, I indicate it right. And that van driver gave me way in the end. Let's go down to gear one here, check out right mirror, and move across. Let's turn right here. Interior right, indicate, go up to gear two. Okay, get ourselves in. And then turn off. Yeah, check your mirrors again. Let's try to find somewhere safe to stop now. Okay, the interior left, I see a gap, indicate left. Brake, turn in, touch goes down. Let's roll into this bay and let's stop here. Okay, handbrake neutral. And that's it, that's the end of the mock test. Um, you can see a lot was happening in that driving mock test and a lot of reaction from my part. We had to react to road users, even bad driving from other vehicles such as that cyclist we saw just cut in randomly from the pavement to the road. And just general traffic, tight situation, big roundabouts, um, a difficult route as well, don't forget. So it's, I think it's interesting to watch. We're going to replay it back when I analyze it in our videos and hopefully that will give you some idea how to pass your driving test. So guys, let me know if there's any mistakes, anything that you think that was problematic that I shouldn't have done or should have done. And how would you have dealt with such situations? So um, just two things I noticed that I probably did that as an experienced driver I felt that I could do. But looking back at it, I probably shouldn't have done it because I have to also understand that um, you guys, the audience may not have a license so maybe you will not react as quick as me. So one was a, a roundabout, there was a car on the right and he was stationary initially so I just made the decision to go and then as I made the decision he slightly moved forward but now I was quite quick and now I moved off. Now on the video it looks like um, I pushed the guy on the right but as I was driving I noticed the car on the right he was stationary initially and then as I made the decision he slightly moved forward. I was quick enough but I think watching the video it looks like possibly I may have pushed in and possibly it may have been a major fault. So if I was a student though if I'm honest if I was a student I probably take the safer option and wait but as I said when I was driving and I was looking to the right the car was stationary for some reason so we made the call but as I said we still need to understand from a student's point of view that maybe you may not be quick enough and therefore let's take the safer option by waiting and analyzing thoroughly what the car on the right is going to do and then the second situation was a staggered junction so we were slightly tilted to the left and we we're going to go straight and now again as an experienced driver i thought okay let me just quickly turn to the left get into the main road then indicate right and wait so that way i'm ahead of the queue now 
I, I did it quick enough that way I didn't affect the car on the other side of the road obviously the van driver decided to give me way um, one could argue did he give me way because I pushed in uh, no I didn't but f um, because I, I made the call I made it quite quickly I knew I can be on time without affecting the driver the van driver that is and, and he was nice enough to let me go but saying that maybe if I was in my test um, I would probably take the safer option and just wait but as I said I'm an experienced driver I know I can react quickly I know I can make calls very quickly but I guess I should have probably driven a bit more to my audience um, so those are the two things I probably would not have done and I would say looking at the video potentially the little roundabout may have been a major fault if you watch the video um, I think in the driving scene I think 100% <laughs> I'm saying 100% because I'm the one marking myself maybe someone else would disagree um, if you guys disagree leave a comment have a have a go at me what kind of driving instructor are you um, but um, that was the situation at that time. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If there's any videos you guys want me to make, let me know. Comment below. Let me know the difficulties you're facing in your driving lessons as well as your driving test if you've done a test and you failed. Or what are the, what are the questions that you have regarding your driving test? Let me know. Comment below. And finally, comment below. Let me know if I've passed or failed. I'll leave it to you guys to be the judge.